Hi guys, my name is Chizu Demi, work with Chibi K and today I'll be teaching you guys how to generate your detailed drawing after you're done with your modeling and analysis and design of your building or your structure so as a designer or a structural engineer that is given a project and you're asked to design that particular building after drawing and analyzing that structure next thing is you have to do a detailed drawing so that anyone can hold that detailed drawing and understand what needs to be done so today that's what i'll be taking you guys on but before we get into the matter of the day i would love for you to like comment share with friends that need this video and put up the link and talk to them also you can ask questions i'll be here to answer every question so now if we want to get a detailed drawing this is where we go to once we are done with the analysis on the screen here is a structure that we've done the analysis and design so we want to get the detailed drawing for it so we click on portal detail it's loading takes some time to load um getting a detailed drawing helps us give an accurate explanation of how we want the building to come out so that is why we need detailed drawing it explains a lot of things even for a for a layman to understand how the building is going to take shape the role that is needed and everything so how do we go we go we click on start by creating a new drawing now we can get detailed drawing for for floor plan we can get a detailed drawing for column application plan and column elevation drawing story beam elevation drawing and part footing details these are where we can get our detailed drawing we can get all detailed drawing for this element so i would love to start with i would love to show you an example with let's say column application plan so if we right click on it and then left click we'll get this option draw column applications yeah an interface will load and i would love to draw this i love to get the detail drawing for the first story so i remove the second story and over here i can choose to insert in sheet or not so let me click now it's on insert in sheet now i'll draw and then i'll come back again still on the first story to show you if i don't insert in sheet how it will come out so this is insert in sheet and i draw so wait for it to load to take a little bit of a little time and then it will come up now it's loading now you can see that our detailed drawing for our column application plan for the first story is actually in a sheet it is covered it is protected by these lines making it a rectangular shape so you can see this over here is our detailed drawing it gives out the dimension and how the column would look you can see this red line shows the column why the green over here shows the board and shows you it's 4y16 it gives out everything you need to know about our drawing now in the column elevation plan now over here we have a bar bending schedule or a takeoff tells you the size of the reinforcement their number their quantity the length and the form it also gives you the bar the material properties that will be used for the column and everything now i'll still go back and click on column application plan and click on draw now i'll remove this insert sheet insert to sheet sorry and then i'll draw i want you to see something that will come up over here um okay then i'll click on this area for it to load now you can see for this when i remove because i removed the insert to sheet you can see how this particular drawing came out it came without any put any rectangular shape of and covering it is how it came out still the same thing this is for the first story story one i did not remove for the second story that's why the story one and the story two came up together so 
this is how it came out because it was not inserted to sheet so this is how you do it and now you can see we've gotten our detailed drawing for the column elevation plan for story one so let's go to column elevation drawing now i'll click on column draw column elevation now you, you can either pick story one or story two any way you like but i love to pick one after the other so story one and then i'll insert it to sheet and then i'll draw now this is our this is our elevation our column elevation drawing and this is how our column is going to look like you can see this is the elevation from the ground from the foundation is at 4.0 meter it's showing you how it's going to be on the floor this is this red signifies our concrete why this is our column so you can take adequate cognizance of what is done here this is the plan view of this column this is the elevation this is the plan view and this is how the the steel up is going to look like uh, you can see it's giving us the distance is 170 millimeter 170 millimeter everything you need to know about our elevation drawing is given at this point you can see for this column column 1c19 um this is for the steve ups and this represents the various um board that is going to go upward so this particular road is represented here you can see and this green signifies our steel ups so you can see that everything is given out properly this is also our column elevation quantity takeoff so you can see we are good to go and that is how you get out your detailed drawing you can also get for the story beam so for the story beam so I would want to get a detailed drawing for my story my beam elevation and I also want to insert it to sheet and I'll click on draw this is how you get your detailed drawing in portal structure you have to move it to portal detail to get this drawing up and running let's see what will come up And this is for our beam you can see that our beam is well represented our detailed drawing for beam and it has been inserted to sheet so we can print this in this format and start our job if you're giving us a civil engineer or the structural engineer in charge of a site with this you can start your job you can print out and then give it out maybe you're designing also for another engineer with this you can print them out and give it out to this engineer you can also do for part footing details this is how you actually get uh, your detailed drawing in the next video i'll be teaching you how to print from portal detail i'll be teaching you how to print out these drawings from portal details i'll make it i'll teach you in a very simplified manner thank you and god bless you